Hello again, MCC students. I'm going to talk today about direct boxes. Um, this is a countryman direct box. It's been around forever. I'm certainly in the in the 60s, maybe even in the 50s, and it's still being made today. It's a very basic, very rugged direct box. But before I start talking about you know the the ins and the outs of the direct box, I might just talk a little bit about a recording studio and a recording, you know, in the recording studio, as you know, we've got the control room where the console is that has the microphone preamplifiers. And then you've got the studio proper where the musicians play. And uh, so in the studio proper, it's not uncommon to set up drums and uh, anything, guitar amplifiers, uh, vocal microphones, talkback microphones. But generally, you set up a lot of microphones in the studio proper. And so what studio propers have are mic input panels. So in the studio proper, there is a panel of XLR mic inputs. For, so that as you set up your microphones, in the studio proper, on the drums, or on the vocals, or guitar amplifiers. You would use a mic cable, right? an XLR mic cable, and you would get the mic level signal that comes out of the microphone, right? and then you'd go over to the mic input panel. Oftentimes there might be 24 or 32 microphone inputs to plug all your microphones in that then go into your control room and go to the mic preamps of your console. Okay, well, sometimes you wanna record something other than a mic level signal. For instance, a bass guitar going direct through a direct box is a good example of this. So the, if you had a bass guitar, the output of the bass guitar is not mic level. You know, we could talk about a, a keyboard as well, very common. To set up a keyboard in a studio proper, the output of a keyboard, an electronic keyboard, is not a microphone. It's not mic level. So the same thing for a bass guitar and a keyboard, same thing is true for both. They spit out what we call instrument line level. So it's the wrong level to go plugging into the mic input panel that I previously spoke about. Besides that, besides it being the wrong uh, voltage, it's also the wrong type of connector. If I had a bass guitar in my hand right now, um, the connector on there would not be an XLR connector. It would be a typical instrument cable. The same thing is true of a keyboard. If we had a keyboard set up right here and we look on the back side of it, the output of it, it's not going to be an XLR mic output. It's going to be an instrument cable output or instrument line level. So there's the quandary. How do I take the output of the keyboard at instrument line level or the output of a bass guitar at instrument line level and convert it so that I can plug it in to the mic input panel? that go to the mic preamps in the control room. And of course the answer is the direct box. So now let's talk about the inputs and the outputs of the direct box. Here is the quarter inch female. So if my, uh, if my bass guitar was in hand, I would plug this coming out of my bass guitar and I'd plug the other end of this right into the instrument input of the direct box. Okay, now I turn the box around and here is the output. And you'll notice it says mic output and it's XLR. So what the direct box has done is it's taken the line level instrument signal cable coming from the keyboard or the bass and it's transformed it into a mic level output on an XLR. So now I can treat it just like it was a mic, 
go ahead and grab the output, go over to my mic input panel, and bam, there goes my bass or my keyboard into the mic input panel along with all the other microphones that are in the studio proper. Um, here's another direct box, by the way, one that's very vogue and common these days. It's called the radial. It too has the female quarter inch input. And on the other side, the mic level XLR output. You know, I might just speak to the idea, perhaps you're thinking, hey, why don't you just take the bass guitar and plug it into a, a guitar amp, a bass amp, and mic it just the way you would an, ele an electric guitar, like a six string. Or why don't you just take the keyboard and plug it into an amplifier and put a microphone in front of the amplifier and record it that way. That's a great way to record either one of those instruments. However, a lot of times when you're recording bass or keys, you're doing the initial basic tracks or the rhythm tracks, which means the drums are involved. So if you want the keyboard player or the bass player to be in the same room with the drummer, whose drums are mic'd, then the direct box is the hot ticket because the bass or the keyboard can go directly into the box, come out of the box, into the mic input panel without making a whisper in the room with the drums. You know, other than a few like uh, ground lift switches or maybe a polarity reversal switch, there really isn't much more to a direct box. Actually, you know what? There's one more feature that direct, all direct boxes have that I should talk about for just another minute. And that feature is called a through. It's the other quarter inch cable, now a quarter inch uh, connector here. This one says amp, although it could say through. This one says through, although it could say amp. So what's that all about? What's that extra female quarter inch hole on a direct box about? Try to cut straight to the chase. It's so that you could have your cake and eat it too. So let's say that you, as a recording engineer, you want to get capture the bass direct. That means no instruments will make any kind of bleed onto that sound. It's just the guitar is going straight into the box and then right into your mic input panel. That's what we already discussed. But let's say that in addition to that direct feed into the control room, you also want the instrument to be played through an amp and mic'd. Well, you can do that at the same time. By taking the through, by taking the through out, it's just an extension of the guitar or the keyboard unaffected. It's still instrument line level coming out of the box as if the box weren't even there. And you can plug it into an amp and mic the amp as well. So a through would be so that you could have direct and an amplifier mic'd. Okay, that's, uh, that's what I have to say about that.